Have you ever heard of the Robin Hood of Mexico? Helping the poor by fighting the rich? You might have heard the stories that our media has made to retell this amazing tale. Ever heard of Zorro? Well, in this video, you will be hearing about the great Joaquin Moreda, the real Zorro. Who is Juan Quinn, and why is he so important in Mexico? Juan Quinn Moreta became a figure because he was needed in Mexico at the time. The people also wanted someone to believe in. Thus, Juan Quinn was born into the society. In the article, Becoming Juan Quinn Morete, John Roland Ridge, and Making of an Icon, Michael Blake Hudson, states Juan Quinn was made a symbol in the Native American culture. Many scholars of Native literatures read the character of Juan Quinn as a mask for Ridge himself, and the novel's Mexican characters as marked symbols of Native Americans seeking to avenge the wrongs done against their poor, bleeding country. The time Juan Quinn's symbol was made apparent was during the Gold Rush. This happened to also be when California was taken over by the United States. Gold. The magic lure of the ages beckoned. Fortune hunters from every corner of the world underwent epic adventures to reach the rivers of gold. In the book, The Robin Hood of El Dorado by Walter Noble Burns, Juan Quinn is described to be strong, smart, and in the eyes of women, irresistible. Juan Quinn was the man that men wanted to be and women wanted to be with. Juan Quinn was born poor. His family were old pioneers, and Juan Quinn grew up with a girl named Rosetta Carmel, they loved each other very much. Rosetta's father agreed to have Rosetta married to Don Jose Gonzalez, who happened to be old and rich. Thus, in return, Don Jose would be able to supply money to Rosetta's family. Once Juan Quinn found out, he did everything in his power to get Rosetta away from Don Jose. Before the wedding of Rosetta and Don Jose, Juan Quinn snuck into Rosetta's room and they made love. After being caught by Rosetta's father, Juan Quinn and Rosetta ran off together to get married. In the moonlight, they saw two riders sweeping past at breakneck speed. One was Rosetta, the other Juan Quinn. They were married the next morning in Aspen. When Juan Quinn and Rosetta finally settled down after running away and getting married, they became minors. Some American men that were getting upset of Juan Quinn and his friend Wilson decided to tell the men that they had to leave. This was due to the fact that they were better at mining than the Americans. Juan Quinn decided to stay and fight back. In the end of the fight that broke out between the Americans and Juan Quinn, when Quinn got beat up and Rosetta was raped and killed. This is how Juan Quinn became the Robin Hood of Mexico. Siempre soñaba yo a ser americano. Hasta que los conocí. So... He and his brothers got together and they decided to uh, seek their own justice. And in the process, they became outlaws. Bueno, mis compadres, vamos a reconquistar California para nuestra gente. After Juan Quinn escaped to the camp in the hills, he was able to meet men that took him in. After working with this man and thinking about his wife every day, Juan Quinn decided to go after these men that killed his wife. Once he killed these men, he left the bodies of the five men in the river in the hills. By the Robin Hood of El Dorado states, locked in the breast alone was the secret of the vengeance he had taken upon the men who outraged and killed his wife. Juan Quinn and his brother set on the road to search for more people and a better place to live. After they had run into some of the Americans, the Americans decided to question them about the mule they were riding on. The Americans did not believe Juan Quinn and his brother that this was their mule. The Americans, after talking to a few people who have heard of Juan Quinn or have known Juan Quinn, decided that they did steal the horses and the mule. To punish Juan Quinn, they hung his brother and buried him. After they committed this act, Juan Quinn decided to get even. In the next few weeks, the bodies of the four Americans that killed his brother were found in the hills. Juan Quinn ended up making a sort of small military. While searching in the hills for enemies, they were killing as well. The word of Juan Quinn was the law that his men followed, and the Americans hated Juan Quinn, but the Spaniards and Mexicans admired him. To the Americans, Moretta was only a robber or a murderer. 
To the Spaniards and Mexicans, he was a revolutionist and a champion of the race. When we don't encounter the heroes that we need in our lives, it will take a real human being and transform the lifetime of that real human being into the myth that it needs to be. Joaquin has become a symbol of something else and of everything we love and fear. Juan Quinn represents the good and the bad of Mexico. Thus, teaching our children to stand up for what they believe in, Mexico and the people will always remember Juan Quinn Morete. As you can see, he is more than a man with a cape and a sword. He is a true Mexican hero.